Transformers reviews, tech and the news, whatever else I use as a muse. Hit subscribe, I appreciate the views, influences, interests on YouTube. Hey, what's going on? This is Influence. Today I got the Eastman and Lars uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Splinter. But let's get this out the package. I'm excited. It's funny when you don't know that you really want something. <laughs> My boy sent me the picture of the four pack turtles and I was pretty, uh, I was like, oh man. And then I looked at them and looked at them. And then he sent me a picture of them like out the box. And I'm like, ooh, yeah, I, I do want them. So you get the little background here that was in the box. Just to show the box a little more. You got some scenes. Some real pictures of him. Uh, got some artwork there. Nothing on the bottom. Nothing on the top. I probably will keep those boxes. And here he is out the package. I, I do really like these figures for... I like the way they look, but also... The amount of accessories that you get with them normally is crazy. Like, there's no other... I don't know. There's nothing else I collect that compares to the amount of accessories you get with each figure. So, I think that's a great thing. So, let me get this. This is all in the package. Let me get these out and then we'll move along. So, here you have Splinter and all his accessories. So let's get up close. I love the way he looks, his eyes, the texture, the robe. This guy over here, I'm unfamiliar with the comics. I mean, I'm not unfamiliar. I just didn't read a lot of them until later on. So I'm not familiar with some of these, like this guy, I don't remember. Uh. Here you have the ooze and you have the four little baby turtles, which is cool. And you have Splinter, I assume, before he got mutated. Uh, you have a little teapot, a little cup. This thing will be gone. You got to be careful. I think this is Kang. I don't know. I'm not sure. Let me know. You get two hands. He has a closed hand, kind of like holding, I think it's to hold the staff. And he has a pointing hand. He's like pointing, go that way. Maybe teaching the turtles. Let's look at this guy. This guy's articulation. He has articulation, his, his legs. He has a knee. His feet go down and up. And he also goes on this joint right here. He has one, two, three joints and he has up and down. His toes, they look like they have joints, but I'm not comfortable trying to move them. So I don't, I don't know. I don't think they move, but they do look like they have joints. They are painted. His head moves up. The paint is remarkable. Like these guys always are painted nice. Uh, Neck is just killing it. And you see inside, inside's painted as, as well. So, I mean, what can you ask for? You got little splinter here. Same thing. No articulation. Wait, let me see. No, no articulation. Just just chilling. You got one of the... I'm not going to show all four baby turtles because they all look the same. But you see, they're pretty, they're pretty nice. Pretty painted well. Uh, ooze, of course. It's painted great with that same uh line work it's like uh cell shell sit shell cell shaded which is like the comic comic book of course we saw him earlier he's painted as well too um i don't know it could be by design but it doesn't look like the paint is as great but i, I mean that's probably his design and we can go through Splinter. So 
Splinter, his head goes up about that much, goes down about that much, and you can spin it all the way around. I believe it's on a ball joint. I thought his mouth opened, but I don't think so. It's just the teeth. He has his robe on, so that may impede things, but you can get his arm to go all the way around. I'm gonna put it back this way because of the robe. Robe does get, uh, you know, tangled up in there, of course. He had, does he have an elbow? I thought he had an elbow. Yeah, he has an elbow. Again, the robe might get it, but he does get about 90 degrees on his elbow. His wrist, he can move as well. So you can get it to look like he's, you know, getting the whole full bend. But it moves in and out and it moves around and of course in order to which i'm going to do you pull these out i think <laughs> this is super tight i think you just pull them out mm, nah, there you go yeah that's super tight pull that out and then you can get the right hand and put this hand in so you can hold his staff at least we know it's not going to come out. Legs. Goes about that much up. And then he goes back. Like that. You can force it more, but I don't know why you would. Then you can move the knee. He has a knee bend, but he doesn't have... Oh, wait. Yes, he does. He has a knee. It doesn't go too far. It's a short bend. Then you have his foot. He gets the toe down. Toe up. And he has rocker in does a lot out isn't too much and again you can move it back and forth and his tail his tail does move you do have to kind of move it but it spins around like that and it also can move up and down like this so you can try to get it in a proper and then you can move it up it's hard to move if you don't have it in that proper uh, with the joint. You can see the joint though. So you can move it up in order to stand him up. He can even use his tail to balance. He, he stands up well though. I mean, it's not, see his tail's not touching. But if you have a pose that you might need, you can of course use his tail. Then he has this, I'm gonna put this in his hand. This is what this is for, I believe. Really, you should just put it in up here, but he holds it well at the top. So he has his little stab in case he needs to handle business. That's it. Not much to talk about, but there we go with Splinter. And I think it's great. All these figures are great. Uh, I, I didn't know I was going to start collecting Turtles figures. But since Transformers are slowing down, this may be my next thing. All right. Get up with you in another one. Peace. You know, life ain't no. Life ain't no. Life ain't no. As long as you alive, you can give another try. And take it real high if you want.